At this point, we've learned about a variety of relationships and how to use variables to show these relationships in equation form. But sometimes it's helpful to visualize these relationships in other forms. For example, let's say you were looking to invest some money. Here are equations that compare three investment opportunities. V is the value of the investment, while T is the number of years in the investment. So which one would you choose? Now most would find it very difficult to decide based on this. So what if we look at the investments in table form? Now can you make the decision? Well, we can look at the value in any particular year quite easily and compare them. After one year, Plan 1 is definitely the best choice, followed by Plan 2 and 3. And after two years, Plan 1 is still the winner, but the differences aren't quite as big. And after three years, Plan 1 is still the winner, but by a small margin. And after four years, Plan 3 is now the winner, and Plan 1 is the worst. So, hmm, what exactly is going on here? Which is the best? It looks like Plan 1, but not for sure. The tables provide really useful data for comparing after one year or two years or any particular number of years, but it's really difficult to get an overall picture of the growth. What about showing the values this way, in graph form? Now which one would you pick? Well, we can see that the first one, in blue, starts with a bit of quick growth but stabilizes quickly and we don't see a lot of growth in the long term. That explains why it looked really good in year one and two but seemed to start falling behind by year four. We can see that the second one in red has pretty steady growth, better in the long term, a reasonable start and steady increase. But the third one starts off really slow but is growing faster and faster. This explains why plan number three didn't seem great in the table for those early years, but seeing the overall trends, it would definitely be a fantastic choice for the long term. As you can see, it's much easier to get an overall trend in a relationship by using a graph form. So, which way of showing a relationship is best? Equation form, table form, or graph form? The answer? They're all good in their own ways. As we saw, getting a look at the big picture is typically easiest with a graph. As you go further in math, you'll get better at seeing an equation and visualizing the general trends, but certainly easier to have the graph produced and see the trends right in front of you. If we want to get exact values for some common periods, for instance, if we regularly had to answer questions, about the value of an investment in year one, year two, or year three, we might find it easiest to have a table to refer to. That way we can say, in three years, the value is exactly and just quickly look it up for an answer. Given that, if we were going to determine the value after 3.5 years, or 18 months, these tables would not be quite as handy to us. We'd have to try and read the values off the graph, or better yet, quite often, use the equation. We can quickly get the exact values by plugging into the equation. So which is better? Well, it depends on your purpose. All are useful in their own ways.